Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video, we're going to be seeing what is the least amount of RAM that we can get Windows 98 to successfully boot on. I've done this series on my channel since probably 2020, and I've tested so many different operating systems, but I think a few days ago someone suggested if we can get Windows 98 to run on the lowest amount of RAM possible. Now in this series, I believe the lowest amount of RAM that we've gotten an operating system to run on was 8 megabytes, and that was Windows ME, I believe. So. Let's see what we can do with Windows 98. Since 98 is a little bit older than ME, it should be a little bit more lightweight. So I'm hoping that we're going to be able to run it on maybe even 4 megabytes, but I feel like that's a stretch. So right now, this machine has 256 gigabytes of RAM, and for some reason the processor is showing up as a Pentium 2. I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. But let's go ahead and shut down the virtual machine. And then we're going to go into the RAM settings and change it to, you know, let's go 200 megabytes. Let's go ahead and try that. I have no doubt that it's going to boot on 200, but in previous videos, we've had to increment down. For example, if we went from 1 gigabyte down to 256, it wouldn't boot. But if we went from 300 to 3, you know, incrementing down in 4s, it would boot on 256. So it's probably a good idea to increment our way down. And of course, no surprises here, it booted with 200 megabytes. I actually don't know the recommended minimum for Windows 98. I really have no clue. I don't think Task Manager in this version shows the amount of RAM. Yeah, no, it doesn't show the amount of RAM that's being used. And I have no clue if there's a way to tell. So I guess we're just going to kind of be guessing here and seeing how much RAM is actually being used. 200, it works. Let's go down 148. So let's just try this. Again, I don't think we have any problems booting on 148. It seems to be booting perfectly fine. Uh, again, 148 megabytes of RAM. Not surprising. Um, let's just go ahead and launch some programs. I mean, I, I obviously know that this is going to work. I have no doubt in my mind that everything is going to run perfectly fine. Low RAM amounts like this were normal back in 1998. So Windows ME is kind of optimized to run on these kind of RAM sizes. But yeah, it has no problems running all of those. Let's shut back down. We can just keep lowering it down until we find a RAM amount that's not going to work. All right, so for this one, I'm just going to go down to 104. I'm not trying to rush the video, but I feel like there's not much we can keep trying on. The recommended for VMware is 256 megabytes. That's what VMware set the VM automatically. That really only gives us so much room to work with. So let's go ahead and sign in here. And once again, everything works. VMware Tools is installed. It's working. My computer shows 104 megabytes of RAM. Again, everything is obviously running really smooth, really fast, and snappy. Everything is working perfectly fine. I'll go in. I'll change the background to whatever this is. Okay, the background didn't change. Maybe I didn't apply it right. There we go. It applied that one right. Let's, let's stay with this background. I like this one. Let's go ahead and shut down again. And we're going to go into the double digits down from triple. So 104, 76. 76 megabytes of RAM. Let's try this. Again, I have no doubts that this is going to work. And there's our desktop background. Booting up is becoming a little bit slower, as we can see. But it is still it's still functional. We can still get in. We probably can't have as many applications open at once, but I'm sure that we can still, yeah, we are opening things perfectly fine. Like here is control panel. Oh wait, the system's frozen. Wait, no, it's not. Okay, there we go. That did take a little bit longer to open. Task manager, or not, taskware properties, sorry. Favorites, MSN, that's not even gonna open. MS-DOS prompt, and finally Outlook Express. Yeah. Everything seems to be working perfectly fine, which I mean, I'm kind of shocked about, but I'm really not. I mean, Windows 98 is a really lightweight, older operating system, so let's keep going. Let's go from 76 down to 60. We're going to go ahead and try 60 megabytes, and even on 60 megabytes here, it booted up. It loaded up the last application we had open, which was Windows Explorer. Okay, start and the quick things were refreshing there for a minute. We can tell that it is struggling, but it's not struggling that much. 
I mean, everything, it's still opening extremely fast. We can make a new folder. It works, which I'm honestly a little bit surprised about, but I'm not. So again, shutting down the system once again, we might actually get down to four megabytes. I think it might be possible. All right, let's go down to 44. Again, there's no really, there's no real science to how much I'm lowering this. It's just, I'm clicking the button until I see a number I like and boom, just like that in the desktop, 44 megabytes of Ram. I mean, this is, I'm not, I'm not shocked. I kind of had a feeling that we'd get to this point and windows 98 is proving itself very strong. All right, let's go down 30. No, let's go with 28 megabytes of Ram. Let's just go with that. I was going to do 32, but 32 is not that different from 44. So let's go with 28 and no surprises here. Windows booted perfectly. Or well, it's still booting. We'll see if it boots. And here we are once again, running on 28 megabytes of RAM, Windows 98. Everything is taking, I mean, it's everything is opening extremely snappy. Wow. I am impressed i really am control panel display remember we are at 1920 by 1440 with vmware graphics with 28 megabytes of ram that is pretty impressive so let's go back and shut down once again and this time we're going to lower it to i don't know let's go 16 megabytes of ram let's just let's try this no surprise 16 megabytes of ram boots perfect i'm not even shocked i'm not even gonna try and open anything we're going straight down to eight megabytes now like i said earlier in this video eight megabytes is the lowest i have ever had an operating system go on this channel which was windows me so if we can get to four megabytes down from eight i would be impressed so let's set it to eight megabytes and boot it up let's see what happens not even surprised windows 98 on eight eight megabytes of ram let's just see what we can open like calculator that did take a little bit longer windows explorer yeah everything appears to be taking a little bit longer to open which i mean is understandable considering the fact that we are literally running on eight megabytes of ram but it's it's still working even microsoft paint we should be able to yep it's drawing smooth it's working Oh, it did take a while to resize the canvas. Let's see, clicking and dragging, and yeah, it's taking a while to resize canvas. But other than that, we can still draw. It's pretty smooth at drawing. So let's go ahead and shut down the machine and go down to four. All right, last time we can go down to four megabytes. This is the lowest that VMware will let us go as we can't go to two and we obviously can't go to zero. So if we can get it to boot on four megabytes, then Windows 98 will hold the record. Okay. So on four megabytes, it is searching for drivers. The display adapter is not configured, but it did boot and it is opening our applications. So it appears that on four megabytes, the display does not like to work. The display driver just decided to quit. But as for everything else, four megabytes of RAM. I just want to see if we can fix the display here. So if we go to start programs, or not programs, settings, control panel, find display here, go to settings. We can't even turn the screen area up because it's not even detecting VMware SVGA. It just says unknown monitor on unknown device. So the display adapter is not even found. Although VMware Tools is installed and running here. So that's pretty interesting. Again, I just wanna show, right click on my computer, properties, four megabytes of RAM. I'm honestly impressed. Windows 98 exceeded my expectations, so I'm impressed. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.